Right, let's talk quickly about what this character can do and what the guys in the course uh, for the 20 essentials have been doing. Uh, the character, of course, will be free for anybody who wants to pick it up and see what we've been doing. So you, maybe that'll encourage you to take the course as well, hopefully. Basically, uh, we wrapped up the last uh, lecture here in Essential 4 uh, with making the bendy limbs on the character. So we set up all bendy limbs um, so you can become really rubber hose here. Um, so as a starting point, he's in IK handle, but we do have the opportunity to switch him over to become um, FK arms as well. So we do have like a basic IK FK switch, super nice and neat, very clean. Um, of course, all finger finger uh, controllers are FK set up. Uh, there is a lecture where we talk about how we can automate that as well. So you can set that up if you feel like. We have uh, automated pull vectors here. So you can see wherever I move my character's foot uh, also on rotation. You know, we don't have to actually move our pull vectors to animate it. Uh, so for the majority of all of our animation, we can actually get away with just uh, animating on the foot controller and not do anything to the pull vectors. And it only works you know, in the rotation around, in the Y rotation here, uh, which gives us a lot of freedom to animate very freely on our foot. Uh, another thing we do here is that we can actually take that off. So if we don't feel like we want that or we want to have our knees fixed in some kind of position, we can still do that. Of course, we can still animate it while it's in automated mode as well. Uh, another thing that we talk a lot about or we set up is uh, the stretchy legs here. So we can actually make his legs stretchy. And we can decide how stretchy we want them to be if we want to have a limiter. So that's here. All of it uh, set up as well. So I'm just going to set the stretch value to 1 here. So it's always sticking to a 1 to 1 value. Uh, we set up the eye rig and, uh, and also a little bit of the face rig as well. We set up lip controllers and so on. But overall uh, we have like a super nice uh, clean eye rig here with scale, squash and stretch, uh, full movable eye here. And it looks maybe a little bit advanced, but it's actually quite, uh, all of it is set up, you know, and taken care of quite logically. And uh, we talk about how we skin. Uh, there's, a, there's big lectures on skinning in this uh, essential course here, because when we uh, set up our characters, we definitely want to make sure that uh, our skinning is super neat and clean. We don't want anything to move when it's not. And we talk a lot about how we can set that up. Um, some jaw movement here as well. Uh, we do have uh, lip controls and nostril controls here. So if I try and move this stuff up here, you can see we have some like this. Boom, let's try and take these ones in. Oh, so they're actually, boom. Since it's not something that we use that crazy much, we have the controller on our uh, nose here as well. And then on top of that, we have lip controller, so we can actually start animating our character's mouth. Uh, boom, 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 all this stuff here. And we can control our tongue, of course, as well. And as I mentioned, you guys, have, feel free to pick up this character for free on Gumroad. Uh, It's a very nice, uh, neat little sweet character design. It was done by Matilda Vinda, the model and the design. The character also deals with um, IK and FK spine. Uh, we also talk about how we can do blend shapes. So there's three different lectures on blend shapes, how to do corrective blends, direct blend shapes. and uh, So we have something called direct blend shapes, which is uh, just a direct uh, connection. Then we have a live blend shape, for instance, here for the belly. So this is actually um, deformation that comes on top of our actual skinning. So his belly can actually move and it's actually a live blend shape that's uh, working underneath the hood of the character. Uh, another thing we have is a corrective blend shape. So with the eyes, for instance, we have set up uh, some corrective shapes. So overall, the eye is actually done with skinning. But to get the last uh, final need the deformation, we've gotten uh, in and we created a corrective blend shape. And then we have lastly one something called a... A direct blend shape, which is just a blend shape that creates some sort of like deformation on our character. Uh, on that, we also set up a, a tail. Uh, we have uh, arm pull vectors here. We set up uh, strings between our pull vectors, so our animators always knows where uh, which pull vector belongs to what. 
because uh, when you start animating, these things can sometimes get a little bit cluttered. Uh, that's quite typical. And it's uh, very neatly for animators to have these strings. So we talk about how we can set those up. Uh, simple stuff, but still stuff that we want to know how we do. Uh, let's see what's here else. We have the eye aim as well. Uh, basic head controllers and FK ears. So our animators really have uh, do a lot of jiggle here as well. Uh, we set up the lips with ribbon surfaces. So we use the hair system inside of Maya to do that. Uh, it's a very neat trick to set up um, to set up uh, lips and also if you're using it on your own characters you can use it for both your eyelids. Um, in this case I kind of use different techniques on eyelids and lips and nose and cheeks because I kind of wanted to show like the different kind of techniques that there are available out there but you can combine them as much as you want. You could use uh, ribbon surfaces for your eyelids as well if you feel like doing that but just to cover as much material as possible, um, I kind of chose to do something different for each of the uh, modules. So that's basically what the character can do. As I mentioned, it's uh, completely free if uh, any of you guys want to pick it up and just animate it also. But if you also want to analyze or have a look at what you actually learn uh, in the course. So we also have like these uh, uh, clavicles based on translations. So we don't need to rotate some kind of annoying places. Uh, we also set up this stretchy uh, spine as well. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned, if you if you if you want to get like a super simple introduction to Maya rigging, I think this is a this is definitely one to go for. It as eighty videos, uh, and they are like averaging like eight to ten minutes each. So <clears throat> you can do it completely in your own pace. And the way you you buy your way into the course is by just uh, getting the first essentials, and then you can see if it's something for you, and then take the second essential, and then continue, and then at the end you're gonna have a character exactly like this one. So they're uh, roughly, I think, about twenty, thirty dollars each, but uh, there's definitely gonna be a, a bundle price as well, so you can get all four of them uh, if you just wanna get all eighty at the same time. Uh, the character can be picked up on manoni.com or on the Gumroad channel. I'm gonna link to both of them. Uh, um, but hopefully, I'll see you inside the course. Or and if you're not interested in doing the course, that's totally fine as well. You can pick up the character. Let me know if you do an animation. I'll be happy to uh, share it on the website if you guys want to get your stuff out there. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, I look forward to uh, see you guys in the course and uh, and enjoy.